Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the changes in the chemical composition of blood as it moves around the body. Now this isn't as complicated as, as it sounds, and once we actually talk about what chemical composition we're referring to, it'll make much more sense. And then we'll look at a few of the different cells, tissues and organs around the body, including uh, general body cells, uh, the lungs, small intestine, the large intestine, the liver and the kidneys. So firstly, what are we talking about with chemical composition? What we are actually meaning is what is in the blood, what chemicals are in the blood at any particular time. So these chemicals could be carbon dioxide, oxygen, water, urea, um, bicarbonate ions, all these sorts of things are chemicals that are found in the blood. So to understand this dot point about the changes in the chemical composition of the blood, all you need to do is know uh, what that particular cell or organ does, uh, how it does that, what it needs and what it produces. Uh, so firstly we'll talk about general body cells, so muscular cells, uh, neural cells in the brain. Uh, all these um, cells have metabolism occurring in them, they require energy to function uh, and we'll know from the metabolism uh, equation that these require oxygen, they require glucose, and they produce carbon dioxide as a byproduct. So what that means is any blood that's passing through or past these cells are going to decrease the amount of oxygen, decrease the amount of glucose, and increase the amount of carbon dioxide. Okay, the lungs are our organ for gaseous exchange. Uh, so what happens is we breathe in oxygen, so therefore the blood going past the lungs is going to increase in the amount of oxygen, and we breathe out carbon dioxide, so therefore the carbon dioxide levels are going to decrease as the blood goes past the lungs. Uh, the small intestine is used to absorb nutrients, and the food that we eat gets uh, digested into the small intestine, and those nutrients uh, diffuse across the villi, uh, and the main things here are things that you're going to uh, need for eating, uh, the nutrients that you're getting from eating rather. So we're going to have an increase in glucose, we're going to have an increase in lipids, we're going to have an increase in amino acids. Uh, so all these things uh, increase in the small intestine as they are absorbed into the body. The large intestine's function, on the other hand, is to absorb all the water out of those, um, or that by this time, waste product uh, before it gets excreted. So what we're going to see in the large intestine is that as the blood passes it, uh, it's going to increase in the amount of water in the blood. The role of the liver is detoxification. So all the processes that happen around the body, which in uh, com combination we refer to as metabolism, but all these chemical reactions uh, produce toxic metabolites. So byproducts of these reactions that can be toxic if they're left in high quantities in the blood. So what the liver does is it takes these toxic metabolites of all different types uh, and it catalyzes the reaction, turning these toxic metabolites into urea. And urea is a, a nitrogenous waste product that it can be safely excreted out of the body. So we see an increase in the urea production at the liver. The kidneys, on the other hand, uh, their job is filtration and to get rid of the waste. So you're going to see a decrease in urea at the kidneys, and we're also going to see a decrease in water uh, as excess water is excreted from the body. Uh, so in this video, we've talked about the changes in chemical composition as blood moves around the body. Chemical composition referring to just what uh, happens or what is present uh, in the blood and whether that's increasing or decreasing. Uh, we've talked about body cells where metabolism's going on, uh, the lungs which for gaseous exchange, the small intestine absorbing nutrients, the large intestine absorbing water, the liver undergoing detoxification, and the kidneys which undergo the filtration and excretion of water and urea. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.